Okay, today I'm going to be going over this Grand Design Imagine XLS 23 LDE. Before I do though, my name is Cliff Townsend. I work at our White Horse RV uh, location in Egg Harbor City, New Jersey. And I go by uh, Townsend RV on TikTok and YouTube. Go ahead and check me out there. Uh, if you have any questions about this video, please uh, feel free to leave comments below. And of course, uh, all the full details for this trailer will be in the links below. Okay, so as I get into it, this trailer is a, got a total length of 28 feet, 5 inches. It's got a gross vehicle weight rating of 6,995 pounds. And this particular uh, uh, trailer's dry weight is 5,780 pounds. Okay, uh, all Grand Design Imagine XLSs are built on the 8-foot frame. Uh, so it's wider than your standard 7 or 7.5-foot trailers to begin with, so it gives you lots of space. In the front here, you do have two 20-pound uh, propane tanks with a power tongue jack and a light for making it easier to hook up in the evening. This is a 2 and 5 16 inch ball. Here is your door side. You do have a uh, full pass-through, heated and closed um, uh, front storage that does go all the way through with motion sensing lighting and a magnetic latch for the uh, doors. You notice your power awning does actually extend almost the entire length of the trailer and it does have LED lighting. On the outside here you would have your TV hookups, also your fresh tank filled directly if you wanted to. Uh, it does, Grand Design does put the um, wide aluminum uh, slip free stairs on all their trailers with the large grab handles. Um, on the back here, you've got your spare tire. You've got a, uh, a prepped uh, Furion backup camera prepped. Uh, so if you purchase one of those, you can install it. We do sell them here at the store in 4.3 inch monitor, a five inch monitor and a seven inch monitor. Um, it is actually equipped with the uh, Furion on-demand hot water heater. Back here is actually one of your dump valves. That actually goes to the rear kitchen sink. So that's a gray water uh, dump only. You have your slide here. Black tank flush. And then your, uh, your main dump valves here, which does your gray and black tank for your bathroom, uh, uh, you know, bathroom. Again, here's your pass-through storage. And then all your connections are right here. You run your water hose right up through here, plug in here, and then you can switch between uh, uh, city water and fresh tank. You also have an outside shower. Um, you know, battery disconnect, your charge controller for your uh, uh, roof mounted solar panel, and again, like I said before, motion sensing lighting. And then here is your data tag on this particular unit. Again, 6,995 gross, and this particular one dry is 5,780 pounds. So it is a uh, half ton towable. Uh, it's uh, mid uh, a good mid size SUV. Half the, some of them on the market can also tow this. For those uh, couples uh, that who are looking for a quality built trailer, great from a great manufacturer with great warranties. All right, I'm going to head on into the inside. Okay, I'm going to enter into the rear door of this trailer here. Like I said, it is equipped with two entries. I'll give you a quick scan of the entire living space first before I get into all the features here. Open up cabinets for you. Okay, in the rear you can see is your, your three burner stove top, your oven, microwave, you have a, a hood vent there, nice big window allows you to see out the back. My customers really like that. And then you've got four large cabinets up top here. Lots of storage in this, uh, foot, this trailer under 30 foot. And you got your, um, your controls here. And then you've got a nice uh, 12 volt outlet and a 120 there and then another 120 up there and then you've got a large stainless steel sink this uh this cover here is nice for you know washing your dishes and then sitting on top here to dry i like the residential style uh faucet and then underneath the sink you've got a lot more cabinets uh this is probably where people would store their their pots and pans two more big cabinets here probably some what I would call silverware drawers or a junk drawer and then you've got this additional little um, you know I don't know what you would call this uh, countertop here with two huge drawers 
and another uh, 120 outlet, 12 volt outlet, and then a place where you can actually store your shoes when you first come in. Look how big this uh, drawer is here. Up here you've got your uh, smart TV. Uh, it's a Roku TV. You've got your, uh, your radio. Again, more shelving, storage. This uh, dinette does easily fold down to a bed. You just pull on those, uh, just telescopes up and down. It makes it very easy. Of course, because this is an Imagine series, you have a um, heating, massaging, and reclining uh, Thomas Paine recliners here. Uh, all three seats do uh, recline. Then you've got your 12 volt refrigerator, which again, if you haven't seen a 12 volt refrigerator, I love them. Gives you all the benefits of a gas electric as far as being able to keep it cold as you're you know, traveling, but it gives you all the space of a residential refrigerator. Then you probably got what I guess they would refer to as your pantry here. And three more drawers right below it. So that is your living space. Again, lots and lots of storage in this trailer. Now we're going into our pass-through bathroom, um, which I really like because it kind of makes three separate rooms. Uh, say you're sleeping in the in the bedroom, um, and then your partner wanted to come back here watch TV or come in through the back entrance. They can go in through either door and without interrupting each other. And by having both doors closed, there really kind of gives a nice little sound barrier. You do have your uh, medicine cabinet, which does open up for storage behind it. A stainless steel sink, because this is imagine in the bathroom as well. Uh, more storage underneath. Porcelain toilet. All Grand Designs come with a porcelain toilet, except for maybe the new AIM series. I believe they're coming with uh, plastic, but this is an Imagine XLS, so it definitely has the porcelain. These uh, four cubbies right here are great for folding towels up and rolling them up in there. You've got the skylight. I've had you know people over six foot easily stand in this uh, in the Grand Design baths. I like the barn style doors. They're nice and wide. Here you enter your master bedroom. Uh, you got your his and her um, you know wardrobes with two additional drawers underneath. You have uh, cubbies and you know up by your head where it has a 120 and a um, 12 volt outlet in there um, where you can charge your phones, put a CPAP if need be, and then it is a full size queen 60 by 80, so you can go to any mattress store and replace this mattress should you decide to do so. However, as far as RV mattresses go, the Imagine offers a little bit nicer mattress than standard. Underneath is a uh, underneath the bed is there's some additional storage with this nice little slide drawer and then I love the the hydraulic lifts or gas power lifts whatever uh, To hold the bed up. So you're not staying or trying to hold it up As I mentioned before Here is your second entry right into the bedroom So you can enter in the bedroom enter in the back without interrupting anybody else in the trailer mm -hmm. And then there you would mount your TV right here on the wall. There's your uh, plugs and outlets up there so that is a uh, quick little tour of the 2023 Grand Design Imagine XLS 23 LDE. Again, this is 28 feet, five inches long. Uh, can sleep up to technically four people. I guess you could drop one or two people on the dinette. Uh, somebody I'm sure could fall asleep on the, uh, on the recliners if need be. But uh, again, my name is Cliff Townsend. I work at our Whitehorse RV location in Egg Harbor City. If you have any questions about this video or if you'd like to schedule a tour to see it, uh, feel free to reach us on our website at whitehorserv.com. Give us a call at 609-404-1717. Continue working with every salesperson you've already been talking to here at Whitehorse. But if you aren't speaking with somebody, certainly would love it if you would reach out to me. Tell me what you liked about this video um, and what you didn't like. And until the next video, thanks for watching. Happy camping.